Hi, everyone. I recently had the opportunity to visit the National Museum of Funeral History in Houston, Texas. My friends Courtney and Bridget stopped into the dearly departed tour shop several years ago and told me about it. They sent me some photographs of it, and it was one of my all-time goals to get there, and I have. Honoring the compassion and dedication of the funeral services industry has been the museum's mission since it began in 1992. Today, the museum continues to enlighten visitors on one of man's oldest cultural rituals and celebrate the heritage of the funeral services industry. Inside this museum is a treasure trove. I am so glad it's been gathered over the years and is there for everyone to see. Per the museum's website, discover America's largest collection of authentic historical funeral service items in 15 permanent exhibits. Learn about hearses through history, caskets, and coffins, plus the funerals of presidents, popes, and celebrities, and the history of embalming and cremation while you witness the cultural heritage of the funeral service industry and its time-honored tradition of compassion. You may have seen the video I did a while back of Princess Grace of Monaco's funeral. In this museum is the actual hearse that carried Princess Grace's body. They also have one of the original plates that covered Marilyn Monroe's crypt. Tons of funeral memorial booklets. I mean, I, you, you probably know that I collect them uh, if you've seen my videos over the years. And this collection blew my mind. And I was so happy to see it and not going to lie, a bit jealous to see it. The recreation of Pope John Paul's funeral is fascinating, and his grave, and the, the, the detail, and its life size. Anyway, join me on this trip through the, the National Museum of Funeral History. I hope you like it. I sure did. Oh, well, we're going to go for it first. Another room of replicas, which is pretty freaking awesome. Lincoln Morning Badge. Bullet similar to this one killed Lincoln. Look at that. Ouch. Replica of the Lincoln Death Mask. And there's the Lincoln Casket. So this was actually used for the funerals of Gerald Ford and George Bush, Lady Bird Johnson, Betty Ford, Nancy Reagan, and Barbara Bush. Pretty cool. Wow. A funeral wreath from Gerald Ford.
What a collection of stuff. Arnold Reagan's casket, replica. JFK's casket, replica. Replica, oh, oh look at that, that is really cool. Original granite stone from John F. Kennedy, <coughs> donated by Arlington. That is beautiful. A table for two. You can take it with you. Look at that, 1800s, horse-drawn sleigh, wicker casket inside. Patterned after the world's first crematory in Washington, Pennsylvania. Wow. This is something. Jane Pittman, the first woman cremated in the United States. And that's the lid of the casket. Interactive. <laughs> I wonder what they do with that. Pulverizing, titanium. Look, there's a back brace, hip replacement.
little keepsake urns. Jewelry. Cute. This is a Packard funeral bus. Look at that, there's George Barris's casket. I heard that they had that here. wonder what the inside of a casket feels like. So did I. Morning costumes. magic chair that the Pope sat in. He was a below daikon. replica of Pope John Paul's crypt tomb they put a lot of time into this silk veil laid over the face of the Pope. And there it is.
just shall we say let out and gave the game my my version and with it shall we say the fact that I pronounced the words enunciated more distinctly than anyone else and he says, Okay, you're the coroner. As coroner, I must have her. I thoroughly examined her, and she's not only merely dead, she's really most inherited. The combination of the time it took for the uh, casting of the play, casting director makes his choices, and it's a uh, costume director designing costumes and put the costume department five weeks to make all those costumes. So the actual shooting probably didn't take more than two weeks. As foreigner, I must have I thoroughly examined her. It's really clever, but it's really neat the way they I have one of those. Thanks, Jenny. Sure would. That is the original plate on Marilyn's grave. 
As a genuine front for Maryland's crypt, the bronze name plaque and vase are exact replicas. But that is a genuine. You can see the greasy lip marks. Don't kiss graves. I know I've said this before. Waxy lips kisses. Look what it does. One of her original memorial booklet things. Rodney, I have one of those. Thanks, Christine. There's Grandpa. Billy Preston, George Burns. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Thank you to the National Museum of Funeral History in Houston, Texas. I highly recommend visiting. You can visit online, too, and they have a terrific gift store. Thanks to Courtney and Bridget for turning me on to the place so many years ago. And uh, I appreciate everybody watching. Please subscribe below. Hit the little bell button next to it to be notified when I release new videos. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your attention. And until next time. You heard me.